Scott, thanks for joining us today on Blues TV. You're welcome. And welcome, I feel properly, to Birmingham City Football Club. Last time we spoke, it was through a screen, now, yeah. now in person. How are you feeling to be here? Great, yeah, it's been um, very, very good so far. Really enjoyed the last three days with the players actually being able to put uh, a couple of sessions on and see the players out there on the, on the pitch kicking the ball, so it's been good. I guess it's a settling in period for yourself, for the players, new and returning. How's that been out on the pitches and enjoying using the facilities? Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, obviously we've got um, new staff and new players um, all coming in at the same time. So there's a, a degree of just this week meeting and greeting the, the, the players, getting them to, to talk to each other, to get to know each other. Obviously there are a few that have been here before, but I've come back in now. Uh, just trying to get them to, to gel together as much as we possibly can. And uh, it's been great to get out on the pitch to see the pitch in, in great nick. So we've had a couple of sessions where it's just been nice, bit of fresh air, taking our time over the sessions. The weather's been good. So from that perspective, it's been a good start. And in terms of the first week, what's it been about for the players and for you? Yeah, I think just that, just m meeting um, getting to know each other, just getting to know faces, start to understand the players a little bit, both on and off the pitch, um, and just kind of come together as a as a squad, where you you start to see the ones that are, you know, confident and and more outspoken, some of the quieter ones, um, but mainly for me, just getting them on the pitch and being able to see them move and start to to formulate ideas in my head about where they're playing and um, you know we've still got a, a number of players to come in so it's not quite there yet but um, yeah we've made a good start. And you just spoke then about players coming in and yet to come in as well, are you happy with the business conducted so far? Yeah really happy so far, um, I think we started from a position where we had a lot of work to do and I think I said that when I first spoke to you but I think we've worked really really hard, we've brought in some quality players um, some players that have been here before and uh, some new ones and hopefully by the time the, the next sort of mini wave of players come in we'll be getting you know closer to having our full squad but um, still a lot of work to be done but we're getting there. And for all those players uh, the start of pre-season in particular is about getting the fitness up so where does your role as head coach come into that? Is it sort of overseeing or are you able to add things in at this stage? No, I'm pretty hands-on as a coach. Uh, we definitely have um, a performance coach that, that helps me out big time. Uh, we discuss what it is that um, we're looking to get out of that week and um, obviously you plan further ahead as well. And then you've got to also use your eye and, and be able to see and talk to the players and see how they're feeling. Um, you can up um, training a little bit, you can also um, reverse it back a bit. So I think it's just about listening to the, the players, listening to your staff um, and using your eye and your experience. I know you've been speaking to the players before sessions, sort of gathering them around. What's your sort of message to them being in your ethos and expectations? I think that's just really getting the players in before the session. Uh, I like to let the players know what they're doing in the session and why they're doing it. Um, I think it's, it's um, important that they are able to then focus their mind on the, the session and um, what's coming. Uh, also we've got a lot of talking to do about the, the way that we are going to play and, and, and our ethos but I think to deliver that in one big message is too much. I think you have to sort of drip feed it a little bit um, and that's what I've been doing in the, in the sessions before each one, maybe giving them a, a little insight into something that I, I like to, to see. Um, or like to hear or whatever it happens to be and um, I can do that on a daily basis and it means that they're not having to take in too much information all at once. And last one from me, first week just about wrapped up, how does it look for the next week, what's the sort of plan? Yeah the, 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 the plan for the next week is you know hopefully getting a few more bodies in and, and um, you know getting them bedded into the squad about stepping up from Tuesday we're going to be, um, it'll get quite intense but we also understand at the end of that week we've got a first friendly match. So quite a lot to, to take in, given that we've only 
been in for three, four days this week and then you've got a full week's training before your first game. Um, but we'll be ready and the, the players, you know, they're looking after themselves and they know that that's coming. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to another um, good week next week with the, with the players. Sounds great, Scott. Thank great you very much. Yeah, thank you.